How would you like it if you got replaced by a cigar smoking drone in a military hat? I'll be completely fine because I'll be sitting back at the swimming pool and he'll be doing all the job. He will have to deal with you, idiots. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tropico 6. I'm gonna back to the ladies and gentlemen. We will continue the, uh, which DLC is this thing? Four? Is the fourth DLC for Tropico 6? The Caribbean Skies Mission 1 Drone City. So basically, if you don't know, this is the thing I started to record before the actual release of the DLC. So if you'll be wondering how the heck I've managed to do it so fast, it's so. Uh, Calypso was very kind to provide me with a key, which I'm very, very grateful for. Now, the difference between this DLC and the other DLCs that we have covered is that this one has five missions, like a mini campaign, additional mini campaign. It's gonna be new enemies, it's gonna be new friends, it's gonna be a new challenges, and so on and so forth. And also there's supposed to be some new mechanics. New mechanics that I would like to actually cover in today's episode. Because last time, if you remember, we've rebuilt the city. Yeah, it didn't look this cool. I've actually had to rebuild this thing manually, but right now we are no longer adept. We are actually making quite the money, so I should be fine. I hope we will see. Right now I'm starting the uh, selling of the boats. We got a lot, and I say a lot, <laughs> homeless people and unemployed citizens. So I've had to actually build myself uh, the immigration office, which is once again not fully staffed. God damn it! And yeah, well, the island is not that big, if you, if you look at it. It's actually quite s pretty small, comparing it to the other islands we had a uh, possibility to play so far. So I'm kind of thinking that I should try to fight, uh, you know, the uh, the amount of uh, jobless people that I have with some type of an industry. And maybe with that thing, we'll be able to balance this thing out a little bit better. That's the plan. Will it work? I don't know. We'll see. So... Uh, for this thing to progress, today we need to build ourselves a battery plant, which is one of the two new buildings. Two? Or maybe more? I think it's two. Three? Three or four new buildings. I haven't covered the new buildings yet, so you are no... You're not... You're not... A, you're not behind. Don't you worry. We didn't do that in the previous episode. So I need to build myself a battery plant. Process nickel and aluminium to produce batteries. We got a lot of aluminium, but I don't have any nickel around, so... Getting that thing done would be probably a good idea. Right, we got a nice nickel deposit here. And if I'm gonna do this thing and uh, relocate this building, I sh think you should be fine. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now get me a juicy, nice road connection here. And try to connect to this mine here. Come on, go around. Go, go, go around. I said go around. There you go. Yo, sissy, I've... I've missed it a tile. Are you serious? I am El President. If I will order you, you're gonna carry that thing on your back. And I don't care. Right, we got that thing covered. Now let's see. Uh, I need to get those things done, of course. Right. Uh, is there like any other industry we could potentially try to do in order to fight with... Uh, with all of those jobless people that I have? I'm kind of thinking about making, you know, additional plantations here and there. But there is not a space to do that thing. There's literally not a good space anywhere to start making like a proper uh, plantation. Maybe I can try to do some of some over here. No, oh, it's useless. We need to have sugar. We can try to grow sugar over here. Coca, not gonna be possible. Tobacco. Eh. Eh. It's terrible. Cotton. Okay, we can grow cotton and I can grow sugar. I think I could try to do something with that thing, you know? We we need to get rid of the all of the jobless people because that's gonna be our problem very soon. Sooner or later they're gonna complain about all of the things and they're gonna try to join the rebellions, which is something I really would like to avoid. So let's give them some type of a job. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, right. El Toro Rojo. Okay, cotton, definitely gonna need cotton. Did I just screw it up? Of course I just screw it up. Okay, one more bloody time. Of course we're gonna make a tunnel connection here, stuff like that, you know, the good stuff. And after that we'll see. Cotton. Right, make me a cotton farm over here. Oh yeah, we can make bananas as well. So that's great. Pineapples. Can I get... Of course I can get pineapples. Pineapples. And that's actually it. Can't grow anything else over here. I mean, I could just try to build... Uh, a farm for the loose and giggles, but I don't think it's gonna actually work. Yeah. 
Wait, what we're gonna need for the actual robots? I mean, Jones Factory. Uh, requires different resources. <laughs> Great game, thanks for the info. God damn it. So for this thing to work, we also need to get ourselves, of course, some tunnel uh, connection over here. Right, there we go. Sweet. And I think later on we could potentially try to make another tunnel somewhere around here as well, right? Can I squeeze another tunnel over here? Ah, the game won't allow me. Seriously? Game, come on! Part of the tunnel is not on the ground. Oh, screw you, game! Right, whatever, screw you. Like, honestly, screw you. Okay. So this is gonna be the place where I'm gonna get some... Uh... Tenements, like this. Yeah, because we're gonna need like a lot of people to live over here as well. There we go. Now, we're gonna for sure need to have a church. So let's get that thing done. Like, this is the thing I always do. Like, this little farming community. A lot of people don't do this thing, actually. Like, I don't know why. I do this thing all the time. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's working so far. So as long as this thing is working, I don't see the reason why I should not be doing this thing. Uh, the basic idea idea here is that you provide them with the basic services, stuff like that, and they just keep on working around the clock. More or less. Actually less, but still, you get the idea. Uh, make some decorations around as well, because reasons. Okay, turn off this thing, because it's really annoying. And here and here. And I go, okay, now swap this thing, do something different. And basically make a bunch of decorations here and there. Nice. Okay, so yeah, I do this thing all the time, like a little, uh, like a little farming community. Uh, you can see those things, especially in the mission Speak Easy, if I remember the name correctly. Uh, basically, I've made there like three uh, farming communities, something like this. Of course, it was a lot bigger because I had all of the plantations that were con uh, concentrated around the sugar plantation. But the idea was that uh, I've made a lot of farms. And then next to it, I've built like a little farming community, right? And I've made like three of those. And with those things, I basically supplied all of my industry, which in return give me lots. And I say, shit loads of money. It's, it works, you know? And that's what's really important. Uh, also, I kind of think I'm gonna need a bus stop. I do have... I used to have a bus stop building, I think. But I either did remove it or... Or build it on the side, and now I cannot find it. Now I probably remove it. Okay. So, I got some logging camps in number of three, so we're also gonna need ourselves the... what is that thing? I'm also gonna need a lumber mill, so I'm gonna slap this bad boy here, maybe? Yeah, and for that thing, we're gonna also get ourselves the furniture factory, because that's, like, really helpful. If only I can find it, actually. Furniture factory, there we go. I'm gonna slap this bad boy somewhere over here, because it's, like, quite small, so we can squeeze it everywhere. Here, cozy. Okay, so that works. And maybe having a few more apartments here and there would be also nice. Yeah, like one here. And one more. I really would like to build one more somewhere around here, but I don't think that's gonna be possible. <laughs> there is shitloads of homeless people, holy shit. I was rebuilding this entire island, but I was not paying attention to how many homeless people already have. Oh well. Right. Something like this, it should be fine. Just build some gardens around so the people will be happy, you know, because they prefer to... I guess they prefer to live next to gardens instead of, like, some homeless shacks. So, you know, that's quite, uh, quite understandable. There we go. You should be happy. Right, and same goes for you over here. Okay, that's done. And some more gardens over here. Just remember to swap it to the right one. You know, add a bit of a decorations here and there. Okay, just squeeze a small park over here. There you go works. Why you're not working? You require cloth. Why the fuck the textile, textile mill is not working? Yo, guys. Get to work. Oh, wait. Now I think what's the problem. There you go. Now you should be able to provide me with shitloads of cloth, which in return is gonna make me appeal, which in return is gonna make me shitloads of money. Right. We got those things covered, so now it's time to actually build the... Oh my god, this thing is big. Yo, it's like super futuristic as well. It looks so cool. I want to build it somewhere. How much pollution does this thing make? The game doesn't say? Apparently the battery factory doesn't make any pollution? Yo! <laughs> okay! Uh, slap it over here then. That's gonna look cool. And make like some gardens around because reasons. Yeah, the one with the logo of Tropico. 
Tropical 6. Beautiful. Ah, finally the balls are getting produced. So that means uh, we should try to make a little bit more of money. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. 71,000. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, the battery is still under construction. Yo, where's the... Why you guys are not working fast enough? Let me guess, you're still building the farming community, aren't you? Yeah, you're still building the farming community. Okay, I'm gonna give you a minute or two. Uh, we we'll have to probably upgrade those. Yeah, it's fine, you can like have normal work mode, but... Increasing the clinics... Uh, quality is gonna be probably a good idea. Right, I'm kinda losing a bit of our money, but that's okay, right? I'm selling sure lots of stuff as well. Pineapples, rubber, gold... I'm not selling gold, aluminium I'm not selling, canned goods, cheese, boats. I'm right now making most of my money on the boats and on the appeals, which not don't appear. Ah, okay, working on that thing. Good, very good, very good, very good indeed. Right, so outside of the constantly going around meteor storms, this is progressing as intended, I guess, more or less. Uh, oh, also turn off selling nickel, because we need to keep it for the drones and the batteries. What is nickel, 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 there it is. Okay, can I actually try to make some money? Let's see, boats, yes, export. Batteries, uh, eventually. Uh, cotton jewelry, yeah, we could try to sell some jewelry, 6,000. Uh, rum oil, sure, let's sell oil, I guess, lots of it. Tobacco uranium, I'm not, I'm not mining uranium, especially not for the Chinese, screw you guys. Garnet goods. Uh, cigars, coffee. Yeah, I, I think with, I'm fine with the ones I have. China supports of Caribbean neighbors. Uh, screw you guys. Oh, speaking of, we need to get this thing done. And time to order some right missions because my reputation is going, my support is going down. So we need to, you know, help a little bit our neighbors. <laughs> right, battery factory done. Now I need to build ourselves a drone factory. <laughs> Look, you have a little tiny battery spinning around. How nice! Uh, okay, remember that I not don't want to sell the oh appeal. Wait, I'm selling already the appeal? No, I'm not. Great. Okay, that's gonna make me bonus, bonus money. Yes. Now remember to not sell batteries at least for now. They are worth a lot. Holy shit! Almost as much as the boats. Okay, that is a pot potential way to make some good money. Job quality decreased. Hmm, efficiency is increased by 30%. Ha. Huh. Okay. It depends now. <laughs> Safety conditions, uh, kinda important. Right, and now I need to get myself the drone factory. Okay, produces drones of any type. It's not that big actually, but it looks super fun. Look, it has a little garden in it. So goddamn futuristic. If you want to make a futuristic looking uh, factory, you need to add plants to it. It needs to be green. Like, once it's green, it's futuristic. Simple as that. And of course, the moment we have built the uh, battery uh, factory, it decided to get hit by a meteor storm. Yay! <laughs> God damn it! So many buildings got hit by the meteor storm. Holy shit! Why? Why, game? Why do, why do you keep doing this thing to me? <laughs> like, I think 10 buildings at least got hit by this. Oh my god, even my logging camp in the middle of nowhere? The other one as well? Ah! Right, and now we need to do something with, you know, our support. So, issue the tax cut. There you go, 58 support. Because, you know, people may hate you. But what everybody loves, no matter what type of a political party they represent, no matter what views they have on your, on your... Do, do, uh, do they uh, fulfill the role of a rebel or do they fulfill a uh, role of a royal soldier of your army? All of them love when you cut down the taxes. It's basically the way to win this thing. And if you're gonna bribe the leaders, well, 60, 59 uh, percent of the support just a few days, I mean few months before the actual election. So you can suck my gigantic made out of gold dick. Now, anyway, uh, drone factory. This is gonna be way bigger than I have expected. Where the hell am I supposed to build this thing? I really wanted to smack it here, but that's not gonna be a possibility. Not here either. Uh, okay, it's gonna make a bit of a pollution, so... Uh, right, I would love to smack it somewhere here, though. 
But then again, I would really would like if uh, people could get a good look at it. Can I move this thing? Yeah, I think I could try to move this thing to a more suitable location. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Perfect. Slap it over here. So that means we're gonna open up some space. And I'm gonna build this beauty. Okay. It could potentially could be affected, but potentially it's not gonna be affected. Right over here. Sweet. Yes, yes, yes. Landslide. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody fucking cares. Okay. So you guys are still working. Okay, good. No thing I need to worry about over there. I am losing a bit of my money, but that's fine. Yeah, because I'm keeping up the batteries. Which I think are gonna be essential for the drones. So, you know, leave it for now. Hmm. Batteries. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more nickel. Those guys are not f mining that thing fast enough. That's the thing I'll have to probably worry about in the future. Also, I built myself another appeal factory. I mean, fashion company over here. So that should make me some more appeal, which means in return, we should be able to make some more money. Yeah. Okay, it's slowly rising. Bananas, cotton. I, the amount of cotton I have is kind of terrifying. I should not have that many. Fish, pineapple, gold. I'm making jewelry out of the gold, I believe. I mean, I used President to make jewelry. The workers have spoken. They're not going to just sit idly and watch you replace them with these flying monstrosities. Also, I just can't believe you just blew me off like that. That is just so rude. What's your problem? problem? Be prepared, percent. Due to the demands are met, Tim says we'll keep walking out on you. Until you finally you all are alone. Then Penultable can personally transport all of your cigars to the docks. Then you'll see how much you need them and you'll come back. you come crawling back. Whatever. Don't worry, President Day, sir. Those are just hollow threats. Nothing to worry about. Hmm? What's that? They're setting the buildings on fire. Oh, I see. Eh, maybe they are serious after all. Now you tell me. Well, that's actually good. Well, that's good actually. A perfect opportunity to replace the whole lazy lot with some better and more efficient. As a symbol of our friendship, I am willing to give you the first taste of our drones for free. Of course, the ones after that are going to be a bit more expensive to cover my costs. Have drones delivery service. Okay, set up drones routes. New export uh, cannot foods goods trade route with China. It will be advisable to use the first drone routes to secure the transportation between buildings in the drones production cycle. Drone factory, battery plant, drone delivery service, mines, etc. So each year, another teamster is gonna blow up. Okay. Do I have a new buildings somewhere here? I don't see. Oh, drones fly to and from specific destination, delivering all types of goods. They fly independently between sets of destinations. They carry less than teamsters, but aren't bound to, to the road networks. Drones have a limited charge and need to recharge. Okay, they also tend to crash every now and then. Any falling goods are lost to, uh, to thieving seagulls in an act of revenge. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay. The hell is this thing? Factorio? I'm, I'm basically building Factorio in Tropical right now. Okay. Right, so we need Nickel. I, I'm not exactly sure. If I, do I have to build this thing close to the factory or what? How does it exactly work? Okay, screw it. Let's just build one over here. Uh, okay, quick, quick build, please. Just for now. No! Oh, I got drones! Holy shit! It's a least Factorio! Okay, logistic <laughs> logistic drones! Okay, configure it routes. Edit all routes. Set route one. Set route one and assign it to the drone delivery service. Oh. Oh! Okay. So start mine, destination, this thing. Goods, nickel, confirm. Set route number two. So this is aluminium, I believe. No, that's gold. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to find... Uh, where's my aluminium mine? I think it was somewhere over here. Yeah, aluminium. There it is. So, aluminium. Let's see. Route two, aluminium. You're gonna go all the way to the battery plant. Here. Right. Confirm. Now, route three. From here, all the way to the drone factory. Perform. Okay, so what you need? You need... Oh, you also need aluminium. Well, shit. I think I need to get myself another aluminium mine around here. <laughs> I, this is basically Factorio at this point. What the shit? <laughs> I mean, 
yeah, okay, whatever, man. Why not? Why not? I can't roll with this thing. Uh, what do we got over here? Coal. No, 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 no. I need aluminium. Iron, nickel, gold, gold. Ah, aluminium. Beautiful. So, build a mine over here. Come on. Go around. There you go. Okay. Right, so we need more of those drone delivery systems. Uh, right, so the next thing is probably gonna be the fashion company, right? Shit. That's gonna be a bit more difficult. But okay, let's roll with it. Why not? The drones are also up anti billing. Oh no, they're just going they're just docking to the new docking station, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm making a lot of those. Logistic drones, passenger drones, civilians drones, all type of drones. The factory processes drones of every type. Drones are processed and the required resources become available. Customs batteries, aluminium, cloth, and electronics. So the, for the passenger drones, I need batteries and cloth. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Why not? No, 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 don't ex allow export of drones. No, 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 Logistic drones, let's see. Logistic, logistic, logistic. Yeah, passenger drone. 20,000 for one. Holy shit. Okay, logistic drones. Do not export them. We kind of fucking need them right now. Alright, and this thing is about to get built. <laughs> this is whack, man. This is really, really whack. <laughs> okay, so I got another one of those. Now let's see. Mm. Uh, set route one. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit more difficult. Okay. Hmm. How can I actually do this thing? This is a serious question right now. I'm gonna definitely need more of those. So let's slap one more drone thing over here. Okay. No roads conf conf uh, configured. You don't say. Right. Road one. Sugar. Cotton. Okay, this thing's gonna go here. To the textile mill. Confirm. Now the second one, uh, what's the second cotton factory, I mean farm, there it is, I think, wait, come on, come on, ah, it's really nice that they actually tell you over here, like you got a little, uh, a little bit of a, you know, box thingy over here and it's gonna tell you what the specific building is making, <laughs> it's, it's a really helpful solution, thank you game, okay, so we got those things, now too bad I cannot set, too bad I cannot order him, to collect from those two places and then deliver to those two factories over here. That's a bit of a problem. The amount of buildings that get destroyed because of the fucking meteor storm is seriously starting to be annoying. I should have probably spread those buildings a little bit more. <laughs> oh well, nothing I can do right now. I was not expecting such a bullshit mechanic on the first mission. Really, I was not. My sky is full of drones. What the hell? <laughs> oh, some of them are crashing around as well. That's not good. That's really not good, man. But the factories are like full of resources because of this. Uh, I mean, you know how it is. It's a fine addition, but it's a terrible idea to rely solely on the drones. <laughs> and final routes are setting over here. Great, Presidente. I'm actually surprised the drones work as well as they do. I was expecting more of them to rain down on our heads. <laughs> Guess I bought this steel reinforced umbrella for nothing. Ex fucking excuse me. With the productivity is high, we need to get the production to the people, Presidente. I pull some strings with my friends of Rossi's enable a brown business to make some profit. New export, cannot trade route uh, with China. New export, appear uh, trade with EU. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this you know, one. Presidente, those drones of yours, um, they're not as inherently evil as I first thought. Of course, they still take jobs from desperate lower class working people who then have to struggle to find new jobs. But there are still ways they can be used for good. Oh, no, 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 no. I've trusted you already with one AI in the past. The only thing you're gonna be able to, I don't know, uh, maintain, or the, the only job you're gonna be having at the palace You'll be the maintenance guy for the toaster, and I'm still gonna be afraid. So here we are. How about instead of just moving cargo around, we let the drones bring the cargo to the people? 
food. Hmm, okay, here, I quickly sketch something up to the back of the sandwich wrapper. Great. Why don't you try it out? The way people can stay at home instead of having to go to shops, shops for food, then they have more time for the truly important things in life. Which, in this case, of the average shopping car citizen is, well, work. More work for everyone. Yay! Hmm, sure. We'll drone to home delivery. The new robot voting system guarantees the next election will be fair. I have a bad feeling no about this. At risk from unexpected bugs. What a relief. You've gave me drone to home delivery. Use drones to deliver meals directly to the people's houses in the Zeppelin area of effect. Zeppelin locations can be chosen freely. Oh, okay, this is a little bigger. Hmm, okay. Uh, not exactly sure where I can slap this. Not over here, that's for sure. Here. Why not? Okay, build it even quickly. So, hot. What? That's a gigantic drone. <laughs> okay, set delivery area. Hey, this is nice. Okay, so you go over here. How the, f the Zeppelin is loading? Drones, meals, food quality, Official price per meal. This was not a refugee crisis. Premium meals only delivers expensive, high-quality meals. Need at least four types of food. Increases meal quality to 17. Increases price per meal to 15. Hey, this is this is not bad. I can make some money out of this. <laughs> interesting, very interesting indeed. Okay, we are delivering. Uh, we're delivering the logs to the uh, uh, to the lumber mill as soon as my builders are gonna actually build this thing. So after that, you will have to grab the planks from here and deliver them all the way to the uh, to the shipyard. Same goes for the one over here. Here. Okay. Confirm. And then from here, we're gonna go to the dock. Right. So that's one thing done. Now I'm gonna need another one somewhere over here. Quick build. Because it's, well, faster. They, we'll still be using, uh, losing teammates event eventually, so I have to prepare for that thing. From this logging camp to this lumber mill, from this logging camp to this lumber mill, and the final one was the final one here, right over here. Beautiful, confirm. Aha! Right. Eventually, I have to replen uh, replace all of those. Probably should be fine. Yeah, I got lots of backup goods I could potentially try to sell at my hardware just in case if things will go really south. Drone to home delivery. Uh, well, it's coming. <laughs> It's only coming! Deliver meals. 250 meals. Are you serious? But there is... There is a, a thing in this madness. Because what I could potentially try to do is I could try to build the delivery systems in the farming area. And then just send the zeppelins to the, to the housing areas. Technically speaking, I'm gonna save like a lot of potential time. This is, this is actually pretty... Oh my god, there's a lot of drones. Holy shit, do you see this thing? My city looks like now like a beehive. There are drones everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> what I have done. If Skynet is gonna attack, we are all so screwed. I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be terrifying. This is gonna be terrifying, boys. This is gonna be really, really terrifying. I am building the city of tomorrow. With drones. Lots of drones. I wonder can I use those things with the warehouses from the other DLC? That's an idea. Presidente. Sir. So, um, I can't help but notice that you blew me off again and just keep replacing Teamsters without giving any thought about as to how that might make them feel. How would you like it if you got replaced by a cigar smoking drone in a military hat? I'll be completely fine because I'll be sitting back at the swimming pool and he'll be doing all the job. He'll have to deal with you, idiots. Ah. Okay, the drone is... the other drone is ready. Send the delivery area. Somewhere over here! Have fun, man! <laughs> this is futuristic as fuck. Mm, excuse me, Presidente. Mm. My lunch just came um, flying through the window and I had to dig in. Luckily, I had the window open this time. I don't think my arm can take any more cuts. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, really, I'm so sorry. Really? Why the fuck the drone didn't explode it in her face? Those drones are so convenient, I haven't left my house in two weeks! And... That sounds familiar. 
And I bet many people around the world will think the same and flock to Tropico just for this. Now, if you excuse me, my second lunch is about to arrive and I have to get my net ready. <laughs> Rika, Presidente! Oh, I'm so excited. This is gonna change everything. Presidente, I have the most amazing idea. You know what? Back in Tropico 4, I used to hate sunny flowers. She was really fucking annoying. She was like with the event, uh, with the green people, you know, the event. Uh, uh, I forgot the word. The one that were caring about the nature and stuff. So she was really fucking annoying, like really annoying. But she was not as pissing me off as she is. You see, I was watching those big heavy drones flying dangerously close over my head, and I thought, wouldn't it be fun just to stretch my arms out and? hitch a ride on one of those things, apart from the 50% chance that it would rip my arms off, it seems like a perfect idea. Then it hit me. An idea. Not a drone, don't worry. God damn it. Penultimo! <laughs> we don't use the drones to move people. This will be the most important invention in public transport since the Wright brothers started b bubbling around with the big paper airplanes for theirs. Sure, have a taxi drone. Transport citizens 20. New privacy laws sure! Now, if you're gonna tell me when to fucking find that thing! No, 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 no. Ah, there it is. Transport people to the destinations within the area of effect. No. Oh. No. Oh. Okay. Uh, you know, remember when I said that this island is really bloody tiny? Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Okay. That's a bit of a problem over here. Ah. Uh. Where the hell am I supposed to squeeze this thing in, huh? Okay, we have to move the ca uh, ca carab carabets somewhere around. I need some space. Sorry, dude. Um, uh, I'm gonna rebuild you on the other other side of this of this district, huh? How about that, huh? You fine with that? Of course you're fine with that because you can't really do any objections on me. Slap it over here, and we're gonna build the taxi drone. This is whack. This is seriously whack. What the heck? All right, remember to build the I don't know the park area somehow. There we go. And then of course some of the decorations because well we all love decorations in Tropical, right, people? Right? Right? <laughs> keep smiling, guys. Keep smiling. I'm bloody watching. Uh, okay, that, that, and that. Beautiful. Okay, can you build this thing? High priority. Thank you. Right. Oh shit. You don't have enough nickel. I'm gonna replace you guys with drones if you want to get to work. Just saying. That's not a threat. That's our ultimatum. Okay, good. I got drone taxi. Equal service. Work command. The drone taxi only serves customers going to work. Joy rides. Looking f to fulfill for their needs. Long distance flights. The drone taxi area of effect increases by 250%. But there are, uh, but there are fewer drone taxis available. The taxi won't accept short flights anymore. Okay. So, you know what, let's go go with long distance. Oh, oh shit, the meteor storm. No! No! Dude, please don't hit my fucking drones factories and everything else. Ah, fuck, my battery, my battery plant just got hit. I've sat that thing slowly going towards it. Ah! Meteor storm, my fucking ass! I hate meteors. They are so good. Even my solar, solar power plant. Ugh. <laughs> Why? Why, game? Why you keep doing this thing to me? I was a good boy. No, really, I was a good boy. Why you keep doing this thing to me? Why? 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 Why you keep doing this thing to me? And now I don't have power. Ugh. Okay, I needed to do the research for the drone factory because I cannot make the passenger drones. And also now we got a bit of a problem with, well, surprise, surprise, power! Okay, there we go, we got power back. Right, can you guys... Can you need to deliver them cloth. That should not be that big of a problem, because I got cloth for days. Okay, battery factory is back up fully operational, so it should start to deliver me some goods, I guess. Okay! Right, I got this, more or less. Actually less, but still. Drone taxi, I have did this thing. Transport the citizens, 20. Okay, I see some people going in, but I don't see anybody flanking out, actually. Word from the palace. This was not a refugee crisis. 
but hmm. really a special Fiesta de los Vagabos. Okay, this is not working as intended. How about we gonna do joyrides? Come on! I don't see any drones flying around. There you go. Oh! They're actually walking, look! <laughs> they look like little yellow helicopters. Look at this thing, oh, it's so cute! Oh! Is it just me, or you can try to build yourself a little bit of a steampunkish city over here right now? Once, one happy passenger delivered. And look at that! The helicopter didn't blow up! Wonderful! So basically, I have to sit in the back and wait for the drones to finish up their work, but the taxi drones also open up some very interesting options, because normally I rely to the metro stations. And of course, building uh, housing close to the to the factories, right? So as I said, the you know the farming community then you have housing next to the actual industrial area. Then you have the housing uh, more in the downtown area of the of the city and stuff like that. So this this could potentially be a very interesting option. And by that I mean that we could potentially uh, build this thing. In let's say a farming community or something like that, and the drones who deliver the people to to work with a matter of seconds. I'm not exactly sure what's the limit of the drone taxi or, or for its efficiency, right? So like how many how many working places it actually can manage, and how many people can transport at a time. But yeah, that's a subject we could try to actually play around with. I mean, the transport drones maybe not be that good. Yes, yeah, see that one just crashed. The transport drones maybe not be that good because I knew my idea was brilliant. Not to toot my own horn too much, but yeah, it was pretty brilliant. No, it was stupid. I I, I hate it. Monsters are now an endangered species, Presidente. Future generations are going to look at stuffed teamsters and museums as a testament to how inefficient everything was before the age of drones. Okay. Now that we're shaking off the re uh, reliance on those pesky pincers, we can rely, really get the drones party started. Let's see how high we can fly with those drones. <laughs> Literally, ha. Sure. Drones uh, 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 delivery service. Okay, I need to build two more of those. Sure, that's gonna come in handy anyway. I'm just not exactly sure where the heck I'm supposed to build those. Okay, screw it. Let's just slap one over here, one over here. Okay, so that's gonna be one thing. What else do you need? You need... Taxi drones. Uh, okay, not a big fan of that. Because mostly because this thing takes a lot of space, and I don't really have space. If you haven't noticed. Okay, how about we gonna just demolish this one? Like speed up the things a little bit. Taxi drones. Okay, make one over here. And so that one is covering that thing. I think I can just try to slap one more over here. Like this. Okay, should be fine. Just 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 to fulfill the objective of the of the quest. Alright. Anything else? I got the money. Delivery resources. Okay, that thing is in progress. But yeah, so we just have to build the things and we'll be on our way. We'll be on our way to sweet, sweet as victory, boys. Sweet, Official sweet as victory. Beautiful. Right. It. Yeah, well, as long as I got the drones, uh, I just have to wait for the teamsters to disappear. Completely and then I can try to play plan out the routes because right now. I don't know where exactly my drones will be needed For now we got covered the most important things which is the bolts and the appeal right because that that brings me those the most money And I'm gonna stick to that thing uh... hey, Presidente Why simply why do you hate your own citizens so much that you refuse to satisfy careful now? <laughs> She's so annoying Okay uh, Right so we got everything done, I believe. Yeah, drone taxis. Okay, that's that's a work in progress. We just have to deliver the resources. Twenty thousand resources delivered. It's gonna take a while, boys. It's gonna take a while, that's for sure. Oh well, just sit back, relax, and keep on waiting. President, fellow travelers in the elevators of power. Even if you're the one who gets to push the buttons. Yeah, I keep pushing them like I'm a fucking ass crazy addict with a bit of a retardness in my ass. Okay, have money in the treasury. What? <laughs> have money in the treasury. What? Okay, whatever. A pent we've managed to do it. Oh my goodness, Presidente. I came as soon as I heard the news. There is a giant meteor hurtling towards Tropico. Our scientists failed to see it before now because they thought it was the sun. <laughs> they only just now remembered that there is only one sun. Uh... 
Hello? Over here? <laughs> Don't need to worry, President. I have a plan. I think you upgraded your personal limousine with a time machine and I found lying around in the basement. It previously belonged to some person named Zweigstein. No idea who that is. But thanks to him, we have the escape route. Quickly! To the time limousine! Run. Wait, what? Oh, that'll be... What? Uh, that's my island. Welcome to Air Tropico. We would like to ask all Presidentes on board to buckle their seat belts and please place your seat in the upright position and brace for incoming turbulence. Uh, what the heck? <laughs> I didn't spot that thing. Don't worry, Presidente. I have everything under control. But now the power can't drive for shit! Everything's alright! Okay. Oh my god! Oh. I'm sure the good citizens of Tropico intend to vote for you, Presidente. I myself intend to vote for you many, many times. I'm pretty sure the, that the entirety of the Tropico is already dead, Pelotomo. Nobody really cares about the elections. You have done it, Presidente. Victory is ours. I mean... Yeah, but the island! Wait, what? I... I... The island went boom! <laughs> Why?! The island went boom! I was... I had my plans for it! So apparently in search of the man... Well, uh, how to put it? We've managed to finish off the first mission, the Drone City. So, the meteors were just a foreshadow of the upcoming gigantic asteroid that decided to destroy my little island. It was a shitty island, I didn't like it, but still, it was my island, and now I'm pretty fucking pissed. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Hold on a second. Terrified uh, of a turn to death asteroid, a representative seeks the help of some extraordinary scientists. Oh. Planetable secret mission. Preventing Armageddon. Okay. Right. Interesting. So ladies and gentlemen, apparently this is the thing, this is a continuing theme. So right now we're going back to... This island looks kind of familiar to the other ones, you know? Hold on a second. Is this the same island as this one? No, it's not. Wait. Uh... I thought for a second that... I thought for a second that this is actually happening on one archipelago. No, it's happening on different archipelagos. Okay, great! Terraforming in fertile ground. Oh, that's gonna be cool. <laughs> Can't wait for this bullshit to happen. So ladies and gentlemen, there is a, a upcoming asteroid that's about to blow up our island, our empire, our cigar factory, and our rum factory. So we went back in time in order to prevent it. I know! I'm surprised that Pronotomo managed to fucking drive that thing. I'm surprised he haven't, haven't ended up in the, you know, Jurassic era or something like that. So right now we're going back to the colonial era. And apparently we have to do once again with Lord Wilhelm. So that's a... That's a foreshadowing, and, well, the drones? Interesting idea, interesting concept, for sure we won't be having the drones over here on this island. Uh, I see a few really cool uses I could have for the, for the drones to, you know, squeeze even more money out of my Tropico. But then again, it comes the problem that... Um, they, they like to explode the goods in middle air. Not exactly a big fan of that. So, like, I'm starting to think that the drones are like a really cool addition, but it's gonna be a bit hard to actually use only the drones uh, to replace your teammates. The, the guys responsible for transporting the goods around your island. I would for sure not like to use that thing uh, to carry the expensive goods, like cars, boats, uh, appeal, and stuff like that, right? But then again, if you're gonna be selling the drones, then they are worth quite the money. And I was starting to think that there is no point in actually using all of the drones for the benefits of Tropico. It would be just probably a good idea to sell them around. Oh, well, I don't know. Apparently the drones will come back in mission... Uh, let's see. Yeah, they're gonna come back in mission 5, the final mission of this DLC. So, you know, we'll see how that thing is gonna go. But that's gonna be the thing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna leave. 
for the future PC builds, because for now, I'm gonna leave this thing as over here. If you want to try the DLC yourself, it's right now available to everybody, link in the description below, as always, but do remember that you need to have the base game. I actually plan to use for the final mission all the DLCs once again, and I wonder can I use the drones along with the warehouses from one of the other DLCs, the uh, Lama of Wall Street, but that's gonna be the thing, as I said, for the future. So thank you guys so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, like, episode, please, episode, 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 episode